100 books so far this year. Some terrible, some excellent. So if you want a shortcut to the best of the best, that's this list. I've organized the list by genre, so skip around if you need to. Unforgettable characters in a winter atmosphere so immersive you'll forget where you are in real life. If tension was an instrument, this author plays as beautifully as any of the greats. This is rivals to lovers done perfectly. The writing style is crisp, the political machinations are everything, and the cast is impressively well-defined right from book one. Unputdownable, even though the plot is predictable, and massively entertaining, even though it made me cry. If that's not magic, I don't know what is. Steeped in Scottish lore, this beautifully written, cohesive duology features a really unique magic system. The person who told me this was like reading a Germione AU was bang on. I adore the autistically coded Emily and Wendell, and the whole thing is just cheeky and whimsical. Atmosphere and vibes is arguably what Witten does best, but I also really love the sardonic main character and her really messy will they won't they love triangle, all of it drenched in death magic. The beating heart of this story is aptly the slow burn queer romance. It's not perfect, but damn is it ever impactful. If some days you choose the grump and other days you choose the sunshine, I have good news for you because in this, you get both. It's a triad between a vampire hunter and two vampires. Every ingredient in this book is intentional and the result is a masterpiece. It should be held up as the best the genre has to offer. The pining, the angst. This book was so beautifully emotional that I experienced the physical sensation of my heart being wrenched. Just give me all of the French affirmations of love. This is my favorite character-driven story of all time. It also is a why choose and has Carolina Reaper levels of spice. There's so much more that I want to say about this duology, but I will save it for a dedicated video essay. This is that book equivalent of that happy, bubbly feeling you get after drinking a glass of Prosecco. Elliot, I hate everyone but her bloom sets the new grumpy simp standard. Cute and spicy, this one has a big, diverse cast. Could it have been a little bit shorter and the pacing a little more even? Yeah, but if you listen to the audiobook like I did, a lot of that just naturally gets smoothed out. I don't just want beautiful writing and emotional angst in the books that I pick up. I need it. If you saw me sobbing while walking my dog in the rain and listening to this, no you did not. <laughs>